Hmm, I wonder where Clayton is. He's supposed to do a podcast today. Yeah! Сифорк бою! Зарываю мину! Мину в землю! Паралитическая! Метаю световую! Кидаю пиролитическую! Пиролитическую! You have my attention. Пошло! Газы! Кидаю газовую! Кидаю гранату! Осколочная! Липучая пошла! Кидаю дымовую! Дымовуха! Меди! You'll never get away with this. Мне нужна помощь! Помощь! Yes. Right. Yeah. Back quick. Here, take this. And this. And this. We got a podcast to do. Welcome back to another uh, episode. Uh, <laughs> What's it been? Like six weeks since we uploaded something? Caleb accused us of being drunk while we do these. And Ooh. I said, sir, only on like episode four, five, and six, and seven, and eight. Yeah. We weren't drunk. We were just a little no, 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 it's fun tip to, top. Funny joke. It's a funny joke. No, no, shit! <laughs> I got a problem with eating oatmeal. It's almost like the bottom of the bowl has a hole in it, but it, I'm just messy. Well, you also filled that thing to the brim. Yeah, that's because it'll soak in and turn into that. We want that mush, right? We don't want actual oats. We, we just, just want we mush. We discussed this about two episodes. I want to be able too. to stick a big straw in there and just. That's so fucking gnarly. Bro. I'm outside in the AMG. I don't even know what that song is. It's a he new was one. Singing that all it's day. that new Drizzy. I don't even know that. That's is. the whole song. It's just that hook. Really? Yeah, he'll say like maybe two or three things and then he'll go back to it. <laughs> Stupid. But I love it. That's music nowadays, bro. I'm outside. That's how it goes. Are you in? T T. What do you want to talk about today, bro? I kind of got a list, but it all. I see that. I don't. It all have pertains anything. to me. I'm trying to remember <laughs> what I had to talk about, but I can't. So, start us off. Should we start this over? We're just talking bullshit. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Dos Promigos, episode 12. If we ever get episode 11 <laughs> uploaded and or uh, sent over and uploaded. Shut up, Apple. Bitch. Yeah, let us transfer shit from my phone to his computer. If anybody knows how to get videos off of phones, um, let me know. That'd be helpful. Thank you. Thank you. You... You're not using Face ID? I tried, but it's that the angle is weird. Ah. Uh, do you like Face ID better than the Touch ID? Yes. You do? Yeah. You don't like the thumb? No. I, well, I don't have a button on mine. That's what I'm saying, but they make phones with buttons. I have one. I know, but I don't have that phone. Yeah, but I'm saying, would you choose it over? Like, the next yeah. phone you're getting, are you going for the Touch ID or the Face ID? Face ID. You like it? It's pretty clutch. Does it work if you take your glasses off? Yes. Does it work if you make a funny face? Yes. It, but I'm pretty sure it just recognizes your eyes and then, like, your nose, basically. Mm. What if you face just ID? fully bearded men can have face ID, and it's like, oh. You know what I mean? They can't? Yeah. But that's you? Yeah. I'm pretty sure if I shave this beard, it'd still be like, I know those eyes. Really? Yeah. Is that scary? I think that's kind of scary. I don't give a fuck. It's like a Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> As long as uh, I can access my phone quickly. What's terrible is the the wearing the masks. Uh -huh. I, I'm so used to just being like, oh, and then opening it, or just opening itself, and then I'll have the mask on, and I'll be like, smoking in a passcode. <laughs> yeah, I got 
I got some fear of technology. I was because Snapchat is quicker to me to get to than the shortcut for my camera. I was using Snapchat in the gym this morning, like in the show. I was doing my pose routine, and I was naked, and I was thinking. There's uh, the hour story stuff, the hour stories where it loads it and everybody in the planet can see it just yeah. by clicking on wherever you uploaded it from. And I was thinking, what if accidentally it had uploaded to the hour story thing? Like, how do I get that down? How do I get it? I just delete it. Do you get to? I'm pretty sure you don't get to. I'm pretty sure you can. Well, I don't know. I don't that's what I'm saying, though. What if it did, though? What if? It, I mean, how many times have you had a glitch? Then you like, we had to turn it off and back on. I'm gonna turn Snapchat off. And then you would blow up. You know what I mean? Oh, naked guy on Snapchat. Yeah. Uh, or a local local naked man <laughs> doing his posing routine, <laughs> and then it's just like all over fucking news, and then oh the podcast my. explodes. You know what I mean? Whew. So it could always, it could be a, a good thing. My nudes of sorts. Do a news segment. Nudes? <laughs> nudes segment? Nudes news segment. News segment. Hollywood nudes this week. I don't know. There's not much news. There's not I much, keep not saying much nudes. G- I know. There's <laughs> not much good news going around, you know what I mean? It's all crap, isn't it? It's all always crap. Uh, yeah. Like, we got second round stimulus checks potentially coming out in August. That's good news. That'd be clutch. It's you free it money. Pro- it probably won't happen. Now the, so the first one was like, if you make under seventy five thousand, you get a check. This one they're trying to make it under forty thousand. Still me. And I'm that's not me. That sorry, me. buddy. <laughs> and then uh, what was it? yeah, we got the NFL postponed their preseason, so we're not gonna have a preseason this year for football. But their training camps started. Well, their training camps. Nobody wants preseason anyway. Not playing against each other. Um. Well, I mean, we haven't had sports in fucking six months, so they I got mean, the bubble, dude, dude. I've been watching. 2017 World Indoor Track and Field oh, on, good on Lord. YouTube. Cause I'm like, that's fucking oh, cool. Good Lord. So I've watched like hours upon hours of that shit. Let me throw this at you. Okay. The word sport comes from the Anglo-French translation of the word disport, which is a so like it, it to disport is to distract. It's to uh, loose translation. Be entertained by. Uh, but the idea is that you watch sports so you don't have to deal with whatever the fuck else is going on. You and I may not agree left and right, Republican, Democrat, whatever the fuck, but we can agree that this home run was really cool or like these sporting events are really co- like awesome to watch, right? Yeah. It's a, it's something to distract you with that people can find common ground in. And now they're ruining that by putting political messages. They're like, it's almost as if somebody walked in and said, you know what I really want to watch on the opening day of MLB is I want to see BLM written on the fucking f- uh, pitcher's mound. Yeah. I, I can't watch MLB unless I know every single player's political alignment and then their and association with they're that. They're all taking knees. Too. Exactly. <laughs> I can't watch MLB without that. In fact, if they don't do that, I'm not going to watch the MLB anymore. Yeah. Well, Nobody's uh, saying that. Yeah. And they and they don't have fans in the stands, so it's not like they're gonna. How many seats are in that bitch? So many, bro. And they can't put like one in every four seats. Yeah. Well, and what's what's nuts is they can't. Uh, like what I would do, or oh, I know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> I would pump in just like recordings of screaming. Like fans. the bubble. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen the NBA bubble? No. They do that in the oh, NBA really? bubble. There's there's like maybe three rows of seats that are all six feet apart. And then there's gigantic TV bars with fake crowds. Oh, yeah. And, and like, they pump in fake crowd effects and they pump in fake noises. Dude missed a free throw and they blasted <laughs> – no, they blasted yeet. Nice. <laughs> so every time they miss a free throw, it goes, yeet! yeet! <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. It's all fake, though. Yeah. I'm concerned about f- collegiate football not happening. It'll happen. The Only in conference so far. I right? know there's a lot of people pissed because <laughs> Oregon, we were supposed to play Ohio State for the first time in like 10 years or more. They canceled that because they're not conference. So that's a bummer. North Dakota. First time since I was in middle school? Something like that. North, <laughs> North Dakota State's been talking shit. That's like our first game of the season. They're like an ass team. Yeah, d- Division yeah, Two. But, but they're, <laughs> yeah, and they're like, we'd, we'd fucking stop. Like, they've been talking so much shit on Twitter. And then. Uh, now that we're not playing them anymore, they're like, oh, Oregon's fucking lucky. They're not playing us. 
we would have stomped her. Like they're like people talking so much shit. It's ridiculous. That's what so. the internet is, right? I'm yeah. happy sports are coming back in any semblance. Just something to distract that people can agree on. Yeah, I've been watching. Uh, yeah, I've been watching the indoor track and field. That's rough, dude. And then uh, they changed my 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 television uh, viewing pleasures. That's not the same shit anymore. Now I'm watching CSI Miami, which is ass. And uh, who's they? You say they changed? Like the the TV station, the Ion Television. They changed what you like to watch. Yes. By just force feeding yeah, you yeah, CSI. They, they were just like, yeah, we've played this other show too long. Let's switch to another. Like, let's switch CSI Miami. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying they did not that they switched what you like, that they took away what you yeah, like yeah, to yeah, watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They were I like, understand. they were like, we played Criminal Minds on Monday, but uh, now nah, we've been playing that for like three years now. Let's switch to CSI <laughs> Miami because no one, no, no one really cares. How old is every episode of Criminal Minds? Oh, bro. Like, well, I think the newest season was only a couple years ago, but the older seasons, probably when we were in elementary school. That's what I'm saying. I like. think every episode <laughs> of Criminal Minds is older than me, and I think every C- – even CSI Miami is fucking, like, yeah. six or seven I, yeah, I remember watching old. that when I lived – we lived in, like, the territorial dun, 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 house. Dun, 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 yeah. dun, 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 dun. That's my Subway Surfers impression. I've been playing that a lot lately. That's good. I was going to tell you to get I back doubt. into it. <laughs> I, I was in, when I was in Redmond, I, 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 an ad popped up for it, and I was like, fuck yes. But you lost all your shit. I did. Still. But I've almost got it all back. And I was number two in the world like a week ago. I had the opportunity to pull receipts on a motherfucker. Nice. My brother-in-law and his girlfriend were playing Subway Surfers. And I was like, oh, you guys are playing Subway Surfers. That's cute. And they thought, oh, yeah, you like this game? And I was like, yeah, yeah I was number number two in the world at uh, yeah. any given point. And they they were trying to tell me no. And they were telling me their high scores. And I was like, okay, now add millions to that, and you'll be where we were at. And uh, I had to pull receipts on them. Thank God I took those screenshots. Yeah, so I remember screenshots. being in the cafeteria line at high school taking screenshots of our high scores. I had to pull receipts on their ass. That was six years ago, and people were still playing that game. Dude, that game was – all right, let's see how long it takes for this fucking thing to send. I think I sent it to the right email. But, dude, I had to pull receipts on ass. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't think so. Yeah. I, they dude. didn't think I was G at Subway Service. Dude, my uh, my second place one I had was took me an hour and a half. That's what I'm saying. See, they were playing. Back in the day, They were it was talking like about getting hours. the double points, double coins. Yeah, yeah. I was like, no, 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 no. What, what, what I tried Stock to, up your surfboards for a month. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> for a dude, month. Dude, so I... I've been doing hella runs, and then like I try to do the challenges, like or the achievements, where it's like, buy th- or like open fifteen hundred mystery boxes. Jesus. So I'll just get like sixty thousand in coins, and then I'll just literally tap through the mystery box thing, trying to get that thing. Just I'll, I'll buy like five hundred mystery boxes, and so my surfboards, I had like six hundred surfboards. That's one right. Point. So you just keep and going. So, yeah. And so then I, so then you get to like, you get like four million in your score, and then you just continue using surfboards. Surfboard runs out. You hold it for a second. Get surfboard That's what again. I was telling so them. I wanted die. to tell them that, right? Yeah. I wanted to tell them, here's how you get a high score. But they never asked. They didn't want – I'm an old head. Dude, I'm an old man to them. You, they didn't want to hear my help. Like, we were playing this years ago. You know what I just learned is that, like, if you're running next to a, 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 a train and there's a barrier on the ground, if you jump and then jump off the barrier, you can get on top of the train. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. That's impressive. Yeah, I so remember. That I remember timing those to hit the top of the barrier, but I never realized that's pretty good. Yeah, I I prefer the uh, up down, like when you cancel the jump. Yeah, that's my favorite technique. Yeah, though, like that's what I do with like the achievements and like the the challenges. It's like roll four hundred times in the left lane, so I'll, yeah, I'll just <laughs> and just fucking bank through it in like five minutes. That, yeah, but that made me feel sad because they didn't ask me like how I got two million. They're just like, oh no, uh. dude, it, it's like two million was like. The bar back in the day. That's what I'm saying. Now, I think the guy, number one guy in the world, it's like 12 million. Or something. <laughs> yeah. I think my high score is like eight. I'm going to sit here for four hours but and just double tap dude, my phone. I updated the app and it's been booty ever since. It's like, like there was a, like that week I had, I got eight million. So you usually get at the end of the week, it's like, here's your achievement and like you got a gold badge or whatever. That week, I like opened it and it's like you didn't run at all this week, and I was like, I fucking eight million. <laughs> <laughs> I ran so much this week. That's funny. Yeah, that drove me nuts. <sighs> Kanye is running for president. It seems like apps and subway <laughs> surfers have replaced sports. We're yeah. no longer able to dis sport 
with sports themselves. Yeah. We now have to dis sport with cell phone apps like Subway Surfers. So when are we going to get the National Subway Surfers Association, the NSSA? Dude. Yeah, say so if there was like you know, uh, Ninja makes a fuck ton of money playing Fortnite. They had a league league for Subway Surfers. Ninja pacifiers. I want your baby sucking on me. Dude, I'd be a billionaire. Dude. What do you do for a living? I play Subway Surfers like a motherfucker. I touch the shit out of my phone. <laughs> yeah. My thumb's cramping! <laughs> you ever seen a thumb like this, bro? Yeah. Dude, the worst, I'll be like, I'll be like sitting on the couch like for like five minutes with my arm like this. And then my arm will just fall asleep and I'm like, ah, I gotta switch hands. And then I'll like sit here and ring this, ring this fucking arm out. <laughs> and then it's good. And I'm like, okay, I'm back. It's like uh, marathon bikers when they when they just coast. Yeah, they, like, yeah. tuck their head in. That's you. Yeah. I want to talk to you about shipping rates. Okay. How come we have to pay bullshit shipping rates for these motherfuckers to then not deliver our mail? Surely, if I'm paying 1099 shipping, that shit's going to be here day. a day before <laughs> that I, the day I ordered it. But no. I went to the post office, and this bitch is like, I was like, oh, here's my tracking number. Here's It says it's been delivered. And she says, did you check the mailbox? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> did you check the mailbox? No, I just came straight to you. That's right. I'm too lazy, actually. I don't want to check the mailbox. The box isn't even mine. I just came in here with a random box number hoping you'd give me a package. Right? Nah. Fuck that bitch. Anyway, uh, she says, the package is not with the courier, so it's... We think it's still in Eugene. The parcel it came in was scanned in, but it wasn't in there. And I, my first thought is, how is that my problem, bitch? Yeah. Give me my motherfucking package. You work here? Go find that box. Yeah. Why am I paying 1099 to not get my shit for three weeks? Given it is the Harrisburg Post Office, <laughs> it's a uh, pretty low budget. I don't expect much from them. But they said Eugene made the mistake. That's just them covering their ass. <laughs> They're just holding they, my are shit. We, are we done? They're, they drank my shit. That's what it was. What is it? What was it? It's just juice mix. Yeah, yeah. They, they took the yeah, juice yeah, mix yeah, and drank they, it. They were like, ooh. Oh, we got this in the break room. Yeah, Fuck yeah, yeah. Guy. Like the box broke open and they're like, fucking score. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. We didn't get it. That was Eugene's problem. Fuck them, dude. I'm going. I'm going to hop the counter and get my juice back. Yeah. <laughs> Kanye for president? No. He Guy's insane. Dude running. Literally fuck, yeah. insane. Yeah, he's bipolar. Um, Oregon, we have the potential to be locked down again. No, we won't. I know, but everyone's tweaking about it. You know what I'm bothers like, me? All right, go buy some fucking more toilet paper and go unstock, <laughs> go unstock the shelves, bro. We need, we need it. It bothers me that people believe this to be possible. Like, the government is elected officials. We choose what they get to do. They don't really choose what we get to do. But then yeah. everybody's like, oh, well, we're not going to be able to do this anymore. Yeah, Dude, that's what's insane is, like, even with the lockdown, like, we can't do these things. I still did everything I normally did in my life when we locked down before all the face masks and all that jazz. Back in March, I'm like, go buy toilet paper, go buy this, blah, like all the mass hysteria. I was just like, I'm still going to the grocery store, buying the same shit I've been buying. Still walk. They're still rioting in Portland. Yeah. I want to talk about the masks. People say that the government makes you wear masks and everything, but that's not really the case, right? It's the reason I have to wear a mask when I go into Chipotle is because Chipotle has the right to refuse service, and Chipotle wants me to wear a mask. It doesn't really have anything to do with the government. I guess the only extension is that the government says Chipotle has to wear a mask. But even then, they can say no. And there's, like, this weird disconnect between the people who don't really understand that sort of thing. And you see them wearing masks in their cars because the government yeah. said so. I'm like, how – who puts your pants on in the morning? Yeah. Is it the government? Does the government put your fucking pants in the laundry? Yeah, that's what uh, – that's, fu that's what's funny is people don't understand. You don't – you you only have to wear the mask inside the store. And people walk out to their car, still you got their mask on, get in, the, get in the car, still got their mask on. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think you even have to wear the mask. Like, like people say, you have to wear the mask. I don't think you do. This is this is the it, big it, issue. Is it, people it, say it depends you on who wants to enforce it. Like when we went to Goodwill that one time, and they're like, "You need to wear your fucking mask." I don't disagree with that, <laughs> but but the point that I want to make is that agency, personal agency. I 
I can speed anywhere I want to go. I can do 955 miles an yeah. hour if my car will let me. Teslas can do like a buck 60 in four seconds or whatever. So they can go that fast if they want to. The idea is that there will be consequences, yeah. right? And so you cannot wear your mask into the goodwill, but the consequences may be they'll kick you out and ban you from the store, yeah. right? But then people people have like this belief in their head. They're like, no, you have to wear the mask to go into goodwill. I'm like, no, 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 no. Yeah. You cannot wear the mask and go into goodwill. But the consequences might not be what you want. Yeah, yeah. The consequences might not lead up to buying whatever you wanted to. That frustrates me because then everybody's like, you have to do this. But you don't really have to. It might be a great idea. It might be the path to the accomplish your goal. But yeah. you don't have to. Yeah. At my job, uh, I'm the only person who doesn't wear a mask ever. And they know it. Well, so the thing, like the the warehouse, like the, the rules, the, the the list we have is like, you must wear a face mask if, and it's like if you if you're within six feet of another person, I'm I'm always like the first person away from me is like a hundred feet away, and I'm on a forklift, so I'm constantly driving, and it's uh and then it's like uh you know, that's basically <laughs> the main thing. It's like if you cannot maintain a six foot distance, or if you're gonna be like in common areas. So I just, and then they're like, you gotta keep it on you at all times. So a lot of dudes will wear it like down on their neck, which I can't do because of this fucking thing. Uh, but yeah, I just keep it in my pocket. And then when the bosses come up to me, hey man, you be wearing your face mask. I'm like, I'm not within six feet of shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm not wearing <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> I, I, I was the same way. And then they emailed me pictures of me not wearing the mask from Tennessee. Nice. Like, I was like, oh, okay. So I guess this is important. <laughs> but, uh, now all I did was I marked where the cameras are on the ceiling, yeah. and I avoid those areas. <laughs> nice. And and uh, yeah, that's that's been my plan. My time is just avoiding cameras because it's a lot like parenting, right? If you have strict parents, you become a sneaky child. Strict parents create sneaky children. Yeah. Strict parents don't create good kids. Yeah. That's the that's what's happening right now with this mask bullshit. <sighs> is that they're like, we gotta crack down on this not mask wearing. But all the people are doing are like, no, 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 no. We, we in charge here. Hold on a second. Dude, do you know how much money I've spent at Chipotle this year? Speaking of Chipotle. Please tell me. If I had to guess, I'd probably say like in the three, $400 range. That's not bad. That's a lot of Chipotle, bro. But it's I, been half a year. I know, but there was, a whole, there was like a whole week. There was a whole week, like five days of work, where every day at work I went to Chipotle for lunch. That's fifty five dollars in one week at Chipotle. <laughs> okay, that's absurd. Yeah, that's absurd. What's three hundred a month times twelve? Thirty three thousand three thousand dollars. Thirty six hundred. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. I I gave you the not every single day, every yeah, single yeah. week. Yeah, if you yeah if you yeah if you went to Chipotle every day for a year. I did the same years. math with uh, a guy who I work with who goes to Black Rock. It's like a coffee shop. Yeah. You ever heard of Black Rock? No. Me neither. But he's from Portland, and he says, "Oh, you ever heard of Black Rock, bro? Like it's some big deal." I'm like, "Fuck no, that, no, bro. No, bro. You ever no, been to no. Black Rock? No, fuck that." Yeah, yeah. Uh, we go to Starbucks. All right, we're white. We go to Starbucks. <laughs> we are white. Uh. Yeah, he he was in the somewhere like the thirty thousand, thirty thousand, uh, three three point eight to four point six, depending on that's that's taking off two months. Yeah, that because uh, he says he doesn't go every day. I'm like, bro, I'm here every single day, and you are there every single day. Uh, yeah, like four and a half grand median at this coffee joint. Getting coffee, bro. Yeah. He gets a coffee and a muffin. Yeah, a coffee and a muffin, bro. Fucking nuts, dude. They making money over there. How much do you think? 25 cents to make a muffin? Buy some flour. Well, buy some sugar. You want to hear some statistics? Yes. <laughs> so to buy like a Dutch Bros muffin tops, you know, to buy just like, like a whole pack of 12, it's like $11. So you can buy them for less than like how many there are, like less than a dollar each. Mm -hmm. And then Dutch Bros sells them for like $3 each. So... They're making money. I can agree with that. I saw, I believe it was five to six dollars at Target for a cardboard Oregon Duck fold-up helmet. Yeah, a little paper one. They selling those at the Dollar Tree. Yeah. So they're making six hundred percent profit. Yeah. That's insane. <laughs> you see that at Best Buy, they uh, they'll employees pay store cost plus five percent. Yeah. So they'll be selling like a set of headphones that. Best Buy buys for maybe four hundred dollars, and they'll sell them for a grand. Yeah. 
fucking nuts, dude. We should start charging three hundred dollars for our podcast. That's what it is. Yeah. It's nonsense for way too much price, and people buy it. Pretty much. We're good at that. I had a buddy yesterday. Pretty good uh, idea. He's like, dude, we should start making COVID bumper stickers. He's like, we'd make so much fucking money. <laughs> and uh, some of his ideas were like, fucking. I'm remember. outside in the AMG. No, not that. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it was pretty good. He was like, dude, COVID bump stickers? That's how you do it. <laughs> Got up COVID bump stickers. Make so much money. I was, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, that's what's up, dog. And I was like, I told him, I was like, dude, it's not much to, it doesn't cost much to make stickers. You, can, you start making some bump stickers, make hella money. Yeah, I'd like to create a small update on my mail situation. Okay. I've been updated. It's out for delivery. So they must have poured it back into the bottle and yeah. are now bringing it to my house with, like, spit in it. Nice. I hate the post office, bro. Yeah. I don't get much mail. You know what you don't want to do right now? Go to the post office. And you know what you should do instead is stamps.com. Stamps.com. <laughs> That's where we go. It's brought to you by stamps.com. Stamps. Stamps. Stamps.com. You can order. <laughs> Five cents a stamp. Don't even have to leave your house. Stay home. Ship to the home. Yeah. Stamps.com. I wish Stamps.com was paying us. Which brings us to our, brings us to our sec- second sponsor, <laughs> ShipStation. At ShipStation, <laughs> you can use your stuff from stamps.com, print, Labels and stamps at stamps.com. Then with ShipStation, they'll come to your house, pick up your packages, and deliver them for you. And our final sponsor, Double Fisted Dildos. <laughs> Twice the fun for two people at a time. That's a lot. <laughs> Why would they be fists? <laughs> fists, bro. Fisted. How dildo. are you going to fit that in you? you telling me you can't fit a fist in your ass. In my own booty? You're telling me you've never gone on the internet and seen somebody with a fist up in them. I've seen it. Can you stick your fist in your mouth? <laughs> you nope. Tried it. Nope. You gotta, you gotta get in there. You know. We're not gonna fist someone's ass like that. You're not gonna, you're gonna octopus that thing. You're not gonna octopus that thing. I see, <laughs> you said fist. Yeah. Not fucking finger octopus. Well, you gotta warm it up. You know, you gotta hit it with the one piece, Mm-mm. and then you hit that bitch with the doozy. You just. And then once you get warm, you get with the thread say. <laughs> And then you get a four piece, and nope. before you know, you punching that bitch right in the stomach. No, you just spread the cheeks. Hi, mom. And then <laughs> straight in. God damn! Isn't that right? Comment below. Drill though. The drill though. Have you ever seen the drill though? No, I have not. Power drill? Oh yeah, yeah. The drill though. It's a lot. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can fuck up. You know, you're not All right, kids. Google the drill, though. You know you're not supposed to, or like, what you can take in your butt or what you should is no no bigger There's than. There's a recommendation? No bigger than an okay, like you doing an okay sign. That's how big, like the biggest thing going in your butt should be. Or, a, or you else could you take, face prolapse. Yeah, you could take more, but you could prolapse. Have you ever seen one? Yeah. They're at, their booty just falls out of their booty. It's so gross. You yeah. know what that is? It's, it's their intestines. Yeah, just it's so gross. Yeah, and then they have to get surgery to put it back in. <sighs> Not pleasant. Yeah, dude, I was I grew up on a farm and pigs would do that when they got cold because they can't like I shiver. They're gonna say when they're fucking. <laughs> no, when they when they shiver, they can't shiver because they I don't know they can't sh- they can't shiver they can't sweat either. Okay. Pigs can't do things, and so they'd get so cold that they would like tense up and just shit their ass out <laughs> it's yeah most of the time they died that's, that's when you uh that's when you go how do we fix this problem let's put some heating elements in, well, their, no. ca- in their cage well like well like they would they All would the do it a prolapse they would do it and then the other pigs would try to eat it <laughs> so most of the time they just let died. me eat you <laughs> let me eat your booty <laughs> let me eat your ass. it's disgusting oh my it's dis- god it's horrible this this podcast can't is going imagine, off the rails. I can't imagine it would be at any sense of the word comfortable. Oh it would God. obviously be seriously painful. <laughs> it's so <laughs> gross. Uh. Speaking of uh, releasing of the ass, I was going to tell you about my 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 my. my I was going to tell you about Brutus. I was going on with him this week. I forgot. I forgot this. By did he about. have a blowout? He did not have oh. a prolapse. He didn't Thank fucking God. release his ass. See, prolapse is pretty rough. I yeah. say blowout. So <laughs> you ever had a blowout? Where you just, just I've shit my pants on the way to work. I think we've talked about this before, actually. You shit your pants on the way to work. What? And dude, I bosh mode this shit. What? I like wipe. I like whilst driving, strip my shit naked, 
<laughs> wipe my booty with the dirty. I, yeah, we did talk about this. Cause I, like no. wipe my booty. Yeah, cause I, th- cause I said, I threw the underwear out the window, and a homeless man <laughs> would love these. <laughs> remember, we did talk about this. I don't. Remember. I think it might have been the hot ones. I'm not positive. No way, I don't. Yeah, remember. yeah. But yeah, I totally shit myself, and I had a spare. Cause I, as my gym bag, I had a spare pair of underwear. I threw those on whilst driving. I got to work and <laughs> I was just like, shit yourself. And, and I got to work and I like went to the bathroom immediately and I was like, I'm like finished cleaning this shit up. How do you shit yourself? Was I it, thought it was a fart. Oh, was it running? I, no, it was, it was mildly solid. Oh. But I was driving. I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, it's a typical fart. <laughs> <laughs> There's something in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked, dude. Anyways, Brutus. So the way my Monday, the way my week started out was. Uh, <laughs> So what I do when I get home, I open the door behind you, I open my truck door, so when I so I let and I let the dogs out of their kennels, and they run out the door into the truck, and then we go to the park, go to the bathroom. Unbeknownst to me, Brutus had violently shit all over his kennel, and I just got him a new bed, but it's spray out no, no, that that one over there, but like the same texture, spray offable, yeah, it's nice, spray offable, but, but uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Unbeknownst to me, he fucking shit everywhere and was stomping around in it all day. <laughs> and I couldn't, I, couldn't, I, couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't smell it because it was at the back of his kennel. So I just walk in, open up his kennel, runs, <laughs> tracks shit, fucking steps all over the trailer, runs out the door, all over the stairs, jumps in my truck, shit everywhere. <laughs> nice get in, and I go, BAH! I start to I'm like, get in the back! <laughs> fucking shit back there! <laughs> and then uh, we get to the park, we go to the bathroom, I come back, and I'm just like, So you get back, and I spend like a whole hour, strip the kennel, clean the shit out of it, literally, take the thing outside, spray it down, take my truck, spend like an hour scrubbing that fucking bitch. It's a great start to my week. That's fucking disgusting, dude. I'm going to be a great parent someday. I kept my calm, other than smacking the shit out of him, I kept my calm pretty good. I also learned I'm going to be a great parent because when I learn when I leave the house, a lot of parents do this, when I leave the house expecting to buy myself shit. I end up coming back with shit for the dogs. Like I went to TJ Maxx last weekend, and I was like, I'm going to get some t-shirts. I came back with a new bed for Burtis for his kennel. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's what, that's my update, my sh- my shit story update. I was going to tell you earlier. Uh, that's gross. Yeah. What's with the shit stories? I don't think, I, I can remember, like, shitting my pants, but it's never anything spectacular. It's mostly just because yeah. I keep a super healthy diet. I had a pretty good blowout when I was a kid. My family talks about this story quite often. Your ass? I was like five years old. We were at a mall. Your ass blew out. I shit myself. Oh, that's not a blowout. A blowout as in shitting my oh. pants. You shit your pants. <clears throat> you were at a mall. We like just walked in. And I farted. <laughs> Again, farting. You got to be dangerous. All of my shit, dude. You got to be careful with that. But it's cool because I got some Spider-Man underwear out of it. That was pretty cool. So you're walking around and then... Uh, Fuck no, I just mom. started crying, and then, uh, and so my cousin, she took me to the bathroom, cleaned me up. Then my mom came in with some Spider-Man underwear, and I was just like, nice, nice. So that was good. I have Plus. a friend named Jaime. Jamie? His daughter is becoming potty trained, or is potty trained, and she goes to the bathroom on her own. You call, like, you, like <laughs> when, you, when you train a dog, it's called potty training. Yeah. You say the same thing for kids? Yeah, sure. Potty, potty training. training, why not? Okay. Uh, it just seems, it sounds weird. I, uh... I'll be playing with him on the Xbox, and I'll hear, I'll hear something. It'll be like, "Okay, <laughs> I'm done." <laughs> I'm like, "What's what's going on there, man?" And he says, "Well, we, she learns how to go to the bathroom, and originally we were letting her take care of herself, but then <laughs> she, it got messy. <laughs> <laughs> she was doing a bad job, <laughs> and so now they now they like are in the phase two of like they're they're potty training her, but they'll come they'll <laughs> okay, come clean they'll I'm come." Done. They'll come clean her up because she struggles to do it herself yeah, yeah. properly. He's like, he's like, listen, man. <laughs> there was shit on the couch. <laughs> there was shit on the couch. Oh man. my god! But I was like, why is she yelling at you all the time? And she, he's like, oh, she just got done to go to the bathroom. I was like, why is she telling you? <laughs> he's like, hey, imagine. Man. He's like, hey, there was shit on the couch, man. There was shit on the couch. Imagine she gets so used to that though. She like, growing up, she's like in high school dating a boy. She's just taking shit, and then she's like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like, okay. I don't want to know. Yeah, yeah. She's like, you got to come in here and help me. No. You got to clean this up. No, I'm sure they'll figure oh, it out. Oh, my God. That's so fucking funny, dude. But it's pretty cute. She's she's pretty cute. 
she'll uh, we'll be playing like Call of Duty or something, and she learned how to place the claymores on the elevator so that when the guys come up, they'll just explode, and she'll when they explode, they drop stuff. And you have to run over and collect the stuff. If you collect the stuff, because you're a grown man and you're faster than her, if you collect the stuff, she'll like, she'll like, hey, hey, that was my stuff. She'll shoot you. <laughs> yeah, she'll start shooting you. Funny as hell. Also, if you take the elevator before her, she gets upset. So you're supposed to help her, not, not, not leave her. <laughs> it's funny. How old is this kid? Like four, Jesus. three or four, real, real. Young. I can't even play video games. That's real, savage. Real young. Yeah, she gets like four kills a game. It's pretty intense. It's more than me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just sit in the corner and spin around and shit. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, it's not like she's in the middle of the the war zone or anything, but yeah, she she holds her own. It's pretty funny. What else you got? I'm outside in a lot of personal uh, goals and ideas. 45-day challenge started three days ago. Which well, one? Four days ago now. What is it? It's for uh, Special Olympics. It was started by Coach Feld of the Oregon Ducks. He's the uh, sponsor tribe and buys. Yeah, he's the strength and conditioning coach at Oregon. It's a uh, 45-day challenge. Is 45 days putting positivity in on us. You can donate monies. Um, in the past, it was buy T-shirts, but they're not doing that this year because of COVID. Huh. But yeah, every day, 100 buys, 100 tries. It fucking sucks. But I'm excited for when we don't have to say because of COVID anymore. Yeah. You can't do this because of COVID. Well, you can do anything. That's right. I agree. You can literally fly. Wearing you a, can literally. Wearing a mask to the gym. Blow his ass. Uh, I don't do that. I wear it in. I don't do that. And then if I see no one else, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't. I don't wear it in. And 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 uh, nobody's ever asked me, but I prepared a response if they do, and it's, why the fuck are you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> Total steroid mode. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sir, that's ludicrous. Uh, we already talked about my weight loss challenge. I think we talked about it before camera, but. We can tell about it. I didn't know if you want to put it. Yeah? No. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm documenting the my weight loss, though. That's How are you doing that? On a paper? Just a camera. And, and a phone. phone. You, ever, you ever, like, and I'll take out, measurements? No, I'll have to figure out how to transfer it to a computer to edit at the end. <laughs> I can help you with that. I have a computer. Yeah. Well, I know, but if I'm doing it on my phone... We have such a fucking hard time transferring it. Well, with pictures, it'll be easier than a fucking 30 gig video. I'm right? doing videos. You are? Doing pictures. Of doing what? Doing like pose downs. Oh, nice. Show myself before and after, you know what I mean? Yeah. Have you taken measurements? You should get like a tape and take measurements. Everybody should do that. Yeah. From childhood to it's adulthood. Like big, big, big. That's basically all I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, though. It would help you because you know how you get, anybody will get distressed or s they'll get down they'll be thinking oh, i'm not getting anywhere it's really hard to see changes in your body because we look at ourselves every single day you know what i mean and so maybe That's just great. having numbers would help people stick to a plan i've been thinking about doing speaking that. of numbers do you uh count your macros no <laughs> you're just like i'm gonna eat yeah yeah i'm gonna eat bro i don't i don't have like a specific goal i'm just getting bigger yeah. so my it's easy more food my, my macros are more one of my goals, I want to run a marathon. Yeah. My mom and I are going to run the Las Vegas. Didn't hopefully you do that before? What? Didn't you run a marathon already? I ran a half marathon. Oh. Freshman year of high school. Running sucks. It does. Why do you want to run a marathon? It'd be fun. Proved myself I could do it. It's a challenge. Yeah. We're going to run the Vegas marathon for her 50th birthday in like two years. Oh, so that's plenty of time. Yeah. So I got time to shred some poundage. Yeah. I want to run an ultra marathon too. That'd be cool. Do you realize if you make it to 205, you and I'd be the same way? Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> I was talking to my mom about that because uh, I was like, yeah, AJ's sitting like 190. He's been there for a grip. And I was like, he's going to keep going. I was at two, oh, but yeah. I was like 30% body fat yeah. and I looked awful. <laughs> I felt fucking awful. <laughs> I didn't realize it until now how awful I felt yeah. because it was such a slow and staggering change. But, but yeah, like where I'm at now versus where I was at then. It's 10 pounds difference, but it's like 
I'm probably at 12 percent right now. Yeah, and I feel so. Yeah, much you were better. looking pretty bloated. For I feel a, for, so for much better. There, dude. <laughs> I have a picture of myself. I have like tits in a gut. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the old tits and gut. It is yeah, disgusting. Yeah. But yeah, that's. I didn't realize how fat I had, how much fat I was carrying around <laughs> because I didn't feel fat. I didn't look fat, but yeah, I definitely yeah. was carrying a lot of fat. And I think that's kind of the norm, right? Everybody walks around that way. That means everybody feels terrible all the time. Yeah. That's why everybody's such an asshole to each other. Yeah. Well, the, uh, uh, I was watching this, uh, you know, Steve Cook is probably not. I've been following him for years. I was watching this video he put out a, like seven years ago, and it was about counting macros and all this jazz. And he was talking jazz, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he was talking about uh, kind of like what you're saying, how you kind of walk around heavy. And he was saying how he was currently at, I think it was like 10 percent body fat, and he wanted to get down to three percent for the show they're they're doing. So he's saying how you know you don't if you're doing photo shoots or you're doing a show, you don't walk around like that year round. Yeah, which is obvious. You don't walk around just fucking shredded year round. There's some people that do, but they're also unhappy because they're just like fucking. I can't eat. I can't fucking drink that much. Right, 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 right. But uh, yeah, he's talking about how you he just starts counting his macros hella, and just cuts down on a lot of shit. And like he he's like he's like I'm at two fifteen. I want to get down to two o seven or two o five to two o three to get to that body that get to that uh percentage of body fat. And he's like obviously you're gonna lose some muscle in there, but. You also need to shred that fat. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of benefits to doing something like that. I've thought about it, like doing a competition prep, but I'm not in a competition, so it just seems silly. Yeah. But I might do that next year. I don't really want to do it going into winter. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But, yeah, I've definitely changed my – I like that I can change my fat percentage without changing my weight. That's cool. One of my friends went all the way down to like eight, 7 or 8%. But he was also lost thirty pounds. <laughs> so it's like how yeah, how does that happen? Yeah. <laughs> I'm confused. But I mean he's still bigger than me. <laughs> it's not like I'm complaining, but confused. Dude, I was reading this uh I wasn't reading I was I was listening to a Joe Rogan podcast the other day or yesterday. And he had this guy, Joe DeSena. He uh, he's like the owner of the Spartan race. You ever heard of the Spartan race? Oh, uh, well he's that guy and he was talking about how he's helped like he had this one guy who was six hundred and ninety seven pounds. <laughs> And he helped him get down to two sixty five in like a Damn. year and a, ha- a year and a half. Damn, four hundred pounds, year and a half. And they had this other guy who was like my, he was three hundred pounds, wanted to get down to two hundred, <coughs> and he lost a hundred pounds in thirty days, like a whole month. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like, I just had the dude eat apples for a whole like the first week, just to, like get his bo- body clean, like cleaned out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, and then I just he's like, he's like raw foods and fruits and veggies. He's like, I need having me anything that wasn't like living. He's like just straight. He's like he's like you can eat forty fucking salads. I don't give a shit. He's like, but as long as you eat just raw fruits and veggies, and just bust ass, right. you're gonna lose weight. And so the dude shredded hundred pounds in a month. Jesus Christ! Did his skin stay all flabby and Probably. gross? Probably. Yeah. He didn't really talk about that. But yeah, he said the guy he lost the weight, and then he's like, he's like yeah. And then when he got picked up by his girlfriend, he's like, he's like they went straight to fucking Ben and Jerry's, and ate all this bad shit. And he's like he gained like eighteen pounds in a day. Jesus. I want to talk about how people are getting older. It's part of life. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not even talking about like aging. I'm talking about people are getting older. How many people you know are classically old as fuck, but nowadays are still relatively young? I was talking to a guy. I work with a guy. And he's like, "Oh, well, I'm 60." And I go, "Bro, what are you doing working at yeah. 60? Back in the day, you retired at like 55." Yeah. What the fuck, bro? What the hell happened? Like, people are people are 60, 70. There's a guy I work with who's 83. He drives a truck from here to Portland every single day. 83, bro. 83. What in the fuck is he doing? Well, back in the day, it was a, a lot of those people either started their own business or worked at a place where they were able to excel quick enough so they could make enough money. And it's a money issue. Well, yes, because... Uh, the stock market was also better back in the day. Everything cost less. The cost of living was less. So people were able to save more money and retire quicker. Whereas nowadays, that's not really the case. I don't know if it's a money thing, but... What's like, also a nuts... I'll continue your story. This guy part. only works because he wants to. The dudes I'm talking about only work because they want to. Yeah. Well, they, yeah, that's a part of it, too. You you get civilized. You, you 
retire, and then you're like, this sucks. What am I supposed to do all day? I if you're not living, I'm, I'm you're a, dying. I've been working for 40 years. Like, eh, so they just go get part-time basic jobs. Right. What is, what's nuts is like, 50, 60, 70 nowadays isn't what it used to be. Like That's we were, what I'm saying. We were, yeah, you we, were dying. Yeah, when we were young, it was like, your grandparents are 70, you're like, That's it. they're close to death. Call them off. Now it's like, people are 50 and 60, and they're like, I still go to the gym every day. Yeah. I ride a bike 50 miles a week. That's what I'm talking about. I, I go on r- daily runs. There's like, what? 60, 60 <laughs> people. There's people 50, 60 years old that look better than yeah, I do. Yeah, they're like competing in bodybuilding competitions. Like, You're like, Jesus. That's impressive. I like that. Like, was it Michael Hearn? That dude's like in his 40s. You Michael look, Hearn? Yeah. 55? Is he? F- 53? I thought Let's he was like, find I out. I thought he was like in his 40s. But yeah, dude's just fucking monstrous. And he went, like, you would think he's in his 30s. Mike O'Hearn. Age. Let's find out. Any guesses? I said 44. He's born in 69. So he's 50. 51 years old? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. dude. 51, yeah. bro. Like uh, like Kyle. He's like, I think he's 53 now. How much of that is steroids? Michael Hearn. Let's get down to business. Michael Hearn? How much of that is steroids, Mike? A lot. <laughs> A lot. But also, that, that trailer photo you sent me the other day, the Kai Green, the Natty for Life. Yeah. Was that a joke poster or was that like for real? I'm pretty sure it's a joke poster. The Generation Iron 4. From that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean carrying around 2% body fat at 360 yeah. all year? Come on. Yeah, uh, I'm the next Generation Iron is supposed to be about fake natties, and uh, he's apparently a part of it. So, uh, what's that guy's name? The, the one that says all the world are... Oh, guy, Brad Castleberry. Brad Castleberry. The fake fucking... Fake weights? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Brad Castleberry, God. Bradley Martin. All these fucking, the fake natties. I can't believe, I don't think any of the people who are actually fake natties whose businesses rely on them, people believing that they, they drink protein juice to make them that way. Like, I don't think they can afford to be on that, which confuses me because who are they going to talk to then to make it credible? Yeah. They had Mike O'Hearn interviewed for it. No way he's going to talk about that shit. Come on. Yeah. That dude's like the guy. That shit drives me nuts when they're, they just like deny it or beat around the bush it's like bro come on it's part of your business just tell us i like ronnie coleman's interview that he did on the podcast with, with joe rogan yeah, yeah, yeah he's like well you t- what were you guys we could be taking these steroids he's like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we weren't taking much but we yeah, were taking you know. him and uh like dory and it's like yeah they're like and, yep. I, and like joe rogan's like you must be taking a ton of shit he's like no no like you know 10 million you know yeah like like this much a day that's the usual <laughs> yeah they're like, what, what about the police? He's like, oh, well, the police came, and you show them where your stuff's at. He's like, what if you didn't show them? He's like, oh, you, you yeah, showed yeah, them. you showed them. <laughs> it's yeah, funny yeah. as hell. They, don't, they didn't fake it back then, huh? Or maybe they did. I don't know. What do you think? An hour? Is that what we've been going for? A cool hour. I'm outside in the That's AME. Fine. Tell me a song that I should listen to. Um, we should go listen to the new Juice World album. Uh, I don't want to do that. But I will. <laughs> Listen to uh, Bad Energy. That's a good one. Conversations. That's also a good one. I'd say listen to TD by, I don't know, Lil Yachty. It's like a, it's like just a various artists song. What was it? TD. It's t- it's Tokyo Drift because they sample Tokyo Drift. And, do, then, and then they do, rap do, on do, it. Do, do, yeah, it's do. pretty cool. By Lil Yacht. I don't know who it is. It's It's got about 15 artists on it. But then one guy comes in and starts. This lady starts coming in and rapping really fast for a couple verses, and then and then uh, there's like her, but with a different voice, mocking herself. She's like, "Hey man, stop your spitting all over the mic." (laughs) Is it by Chief Keef? Is it a black image with a red border? Um, We have iPhones. A top one? No. We have iPhones. I'll just airdrop it to you. Yeah, yeah. Go look up TD and Jews World's new album. Sponsored by Stamps.com. And post double drill dough into dildos. <laughs> ship station, that's what it was. Ship. And ship station. Is that the end? Is that where we're ending? Yeah, it? call it. Bye, everybody. We're a salute guy now. If you're watching this shit and you ain't subscribed, push the red fucking button. That's it. You don't have to get notifications. You do. You don't have to like. You do have to do those you things. You just have to subscribe so we have more subscribers. Do those you. things now and share that shit. Thank you.